We'll start off with the South Carolina Gamecocks. Shane Beamer coming in. I, highly impressed with Shane Beamer so far. Yeah. Like it, this looks like another one of those, you know, Sam Pittman, Arkansas culture fit kind of things. Shane Beamer just feels like he fits South Carolina. They Their new offensive coordinator, uh, Marcus Satterfield, worked with Joe Brady in Carolina, worked under Lincoln Riley in Oklahoma, along with, uh, with Shane Beamer. The quarterback, Luke Doty, like, showed flashes late last season. He brings speed and elusiveness that they have not had there since, I think, Connor Shaw. Yeah, I was about really. to say since Shaw, probably. And the offensive line looks like they're going to be fine. they got a stud running back in Kevin Harris. The I mean, they, they need their wide receivers to play well because they've got a veteran group, but, man, they were inconsistent. Like, it, it, so many drop drops balls. and just – but I wonder how much of that was, you know, last season after – just a little bit, they didn't care anymore, and Muschamp got fired, and why are we even doing this? Like, a lot of them... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Defensive line is loaded, absolutely loaded, with with former top 100 recruits and whatnot, so they are going to be fine there. They will need to work on um, the secondary, for sure. Uh, I think the goal on defense in Beamer's first season is, is just simplify it. Like, simplify yeah. what they're doing. Go out. Don't do anything crazy. Uh, the win total is three and a half. To go over is minus 170, and to go under is plus 140. I, I love Shane Beamer, but, man, that plus 140 looks really juicy, and when I'm looking at this schedule, like, I think I think it's possible that they could get beat at East Carolina. I think it's possible that they could lose these games to, you know, Tennessee and whatnot. I, I fully expect them to beat Vanderbilt, but, I mean, you still got Clemson on the schedule. Like, you got Georgia, you got A&M. You got at Missouri, Auburn. Like at, I'm gonna go under the three and a half because I like the plus one forty. I think it's a price thing. That's a huge, huge plus. But there's no way. I think this team gets the four wins pretty easily, and that's with not even like a lot of coin flip. I mean, you know, I just think they do. I man, I don't know. Like at, the Troy game kind of scares know, me. I like know. I, you respect Troy, you respect East Carolina way too much. Maybe so. I, I, this is this is not SEC ball. Not that SEC teams are immune to losing to these types of teams and losing these games, but that means they get swept by all the other teams that we think are in that same little wheelhouse of theirs. They lose True. all of those games. They upset nobody, and they get upset by somebody. Like I just think that's a lot to ask. The reason the price is so high is because you're basically giving them free money. Yeah. Now you might be right. You might be right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.